Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors and we're doing an install video of a company called Renogy. And this is their RSP 200 DC ASR. It's their Shadow Flex Series High Efficiency Solar Mod. It's ultra high uh, cell efficiency, 6 BB, which a high conversion uh, for longer lifespan. I guess they don't last very long. I think these are supposed to last like 15 years or something like that. And it's Shadow, uh, shadow Flux. And endures performance in high temperatures, which is pretty cool because if you have it on your roof, it is extremely hot up there. If you are an overlander or if you are, you know, van or if you have like a camper or I mean, there's going to be shadows and there's just there's not an ideal area for uh, you to camp. So having a, a solar panel like this uh, that has the shadow flux is individual uh, solar panels. The monocrystalline, I believe is what it's called. They actually will be smaller and they could fit in better areas. I want to say better areas. It's just smaller. These are larger for the same wattage. But if you shadow out one of them, it just kills. If you just put your hand right over top of, um, I think it's monocrystalline, they're just dead these here you can actually just you can cover your hand over or have a, a, a shadow like a, a tree or something like that and it's still because it's individual charging stations it's in, individual um, solar panels which is kind of cool but it is bigger so one thing i really want you to get out of this because i've looked everywhere i have looked everywhere is how to install these on your rooftop tent and a company called boji boji rv sent me some of these little clamps and they are insane all you do is the little screw on the top you unloosen it and the actual clamp actually opens up and as you're tightening it down it actually tightens the screw up which is insane and i want you to stick around because there is one trick that i cannot find on the internet at all i'm sure it's out there there's they put out with 500 youtube videos a minute but how to mount the two solar panels together and and i'll just tell you real quick it's just a screw the a bolt that goes right through the center of two of your solar panels just put a little washer over top of it put your nut screw it down and that will hold it because the center doesn't necessarily need depending on how you have it directed it doesn't really need support as much as it does on the outside where their wind is are pushing front and back um, these are actually going to be too big for my rooftop tent so we're gonna have to turn them sideways from this way to here to actually make it fit because side by side like i did my last ones uh those fit perfectly but these are much much bigger they're 30 inches uh versus i think it's the other ones are 24 which is um they're still 200 watt but they're the monocrystalline i believe that's what it's called but let's go up on the roof let me show you uh how we have it all set up all right there's mr john with travel outside the box so when we're mounting this on here, uh, what I did was I actually put a rod going long ways on both sides because I needed the the uh, the framing to go this way if I was going to turn the solar panels this way, if that makes sense. And so those bogey clamps, which I'll put in the description below, are absolutely insane. So I wanted to show you how they work. So when you put these on, you actually have these clamps. There's going to be drilled holes that are already mounted in your um, on your solar panel. And what you'll do is you'll mount those it has an actual pad and a screw where you can actually screw and it'll pinch this to make it permanent on here and then once you do that this will slide right up underneath here under this bracket and then you'll actually put these screws on just like this and so that will actually clamp down on these here which is absolutely insane take a look at that so again I actually did the brackets I did the brackets. Um, I went to Ace Hardware and just got those and some uh, screws and hardware. But I want to show you how to mount the two together. So come on down here with me. If you take a look right there, I'm going to bolt straight through here and then just put a washer. There's a washer on the bottom and top. And then what you do is you just screw that on. And this is freaking permanent, dude. I cannot find anything that actually made this work online. So I just didn't know, especially when it's so tight, you don't have much room. Of course, if you had plenty of room, just put one of these on there. But I don't think that they make one that holds two together. So you would actually have to have two here for it to work, which is going to make it even more pat more room because these are actually two inches. So when I cut this, 
I actually uh, told him I needed 60 inches. I never even thought about the extra two inches that this occurred. So I actually made uh, a little bit of a bracket right here. So let's go ahead and look at how to mount this together. And I'll show you how to do that. So when you mount this together, there's two different ways you can do it. And I actually have the brackets and I'll show you real quick. So what you can do is you can actually tie your positive to your negative uh, of these two here and then run your positive and negative to your, your extension and you can run it all the way down. This is not gonna be long enough to reach anything. You're gonna have to buy an extension. The longer your cords are, the, the less power you're gonna get as well. But let me show you the other way. You can get these pretty cheap as well. These are just little brackets that are positive, positive, negative to negative, and you just mount them together. It's just like a little Y. Hopefully you can see that. That makes it really simple. So let's go check on the, um, the efficiency of these. Now look at this. That's the sun right there. It is cloudy today, so. This is absolutely gonna be a, um, I don't have the best uh, situation for solar, but let's take a look at it because these are shade flux, so let's put it to the test. All right, so we're using the Solix 1000, C1000, and I got, um, and this is stuff you're just gonna have to buy extra. None of this comes with the uh, solar panels, but basically what it is is, two solar mounts to a, a T60, um, which is the only way to charge this. So the downside of that is now that I have all those connections out there and this length here on top of here, and then mounting this to, um, you're gonna lose those, that power. You know what I mean? Because all these connections, you're just gonna lose power. That's, it is what it is. The less amount of connections and the closer you get to the solar, you're just gonna have more, more power. All right, so absolutely no freaking sun. And take a look, I know you can't see that, but that, there's a bright ball right there and that's what the sun is. There's nothing really flexing, uh, shading it other than that. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see if this even works. So I'm gonna turn this on. All right, it's 62 and we're just gonna plug it in. How cool would that be if it would get some power to it? Boom. I'm hearing noises. Can you see that? I can bring you down. That's insane. In complete shade. I'm getting 70. It says 76, 77, 75. It'll take about five hours for it to charge. But look at this, guys. I mean, there it is. There's not a, there's nothing blue about this. It's all gray. That's crazy. So that shade flux is freaking awesome. That's super cool. So I also did a test when we had this hooked up as well that um, we ran one solar panel and we tested it with no absolutely blue skies. And we actually ran it into uh, some shade where there was a bunch of branches and stuff like that and it's still pumped out just under um, uh, I think it was a hundred hundred and something uh, Watts of power, which is insane. So I a hundred percent if you're trying to do overlanding if you're a van lifer um, You want to put some solar panels on your man anything. I don't like I said the other ones They will charge your systems faster and they're smaller and I, I see where that can make sense but if you can fit these in your overlanding, your van, your RV, it just makes more sense because I, I've been doing this for a while and I can never find the perfect north to east, you know, setup for it. So having the shade or anything else is still getting power can keep you in the woods longer. It, it's just so cool. So anyway, if you like one of these, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, Renji is a I mean, they're the goat, really they are. Also, if you're wanting those, that Boji RV, they're on Amazon. I'll try to put it on the um, in the description below as well. But guys, if you like honest reviews, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell. And I, I hope that helps you being able to put this, uh, your solar panels on your rooftop tent. I really just couldn't find anything that was super in depth or where they were getting the product. So I'm hoping that it'll help you. And uh, guys, I'll see you next time. Appreciate y'all.